In this video, we are going to see what a continuity equation is and how it is derived. In the previous videos, we have individually considered effects such as drift due to electric field, diffusion due to concentration gradient, generation of carriers due to thermal energy and illumination of light, recombination of carriers through intermediate level recombination centers. When all these effects are considered simultaneously in a semiconductor material, the governing equation is called the continuity equation. For deriving the continuity equation for electrons, consider an infinite simul slice with thickness dx at x as shown in the figure. Assume Jn of x is the current density flowing into the slice at x and Jn of x plus dx the current density of electrons flowing out of the slice at x plus dx. And assuming the generation rate of electrons in the slice is Gn and the recombination of electrons with holes, the rate of it being Rn. And the units of Jn is charge per centimeter square per second. The charge units is Coulomb, so the units of current density is Coulomb per centimeter square per second. And generation rate and recombination rate have the same unit, that is number of carriers per centimeter cube per second. And now, looking at the number of electrons in the slice, they may increase due to the net current flow into the slice and the net carrier generation. Net current flow is nothing but the difference between the input current flow and the output current flow of the slice. And the net carrier generation is nothing but the generation rate, generation in the slice minus the recombination in the slice. To better understand this aspect, Let's take an analogy and look at a lake analogy, okay? In this particular analogy, assume there is a lake with certain water and inflow of water into the lake and outflow of water from the lake, okay? And the water in the lake can increase if inflow is greater than outflow and if the rain is greater than the evaporation. Evaporation is due to the temperature of temperature provided by the sun. Okay, and if you look at these two terms, one and two, one minus two, that is the inflow minus the outflow, is the net inflow of water, and three minus four, you can say the net rain water. Okay, so one minus two is the net inflow of water, and three minus four is the net rain water. Similarly, in the case of our derivation. We can see net current flow is the difference between the input and the output current flow of the slice and the net carrier generation is the generation minus recombination in the slice. And looking at the overall rate of electron increase in the slice, rate of increase is nothing but number of electrons per second, how they are increasing. Okay. If you look at that, assume that dou n by dou t is the number of electron concentration increase per time if it is multiplied by the volume of the slice a times dx we'll get net number of electrons increase per time the n units is number of electrons per centimeter cube okay and this can be accommodated by the four terms one is the rate of electron flow into the slice at x this can be derived by taking Jn of x, dividing it by the charge of electron, which is minus q, multiplying it with the area of this slice, that is a cross-section area. So looking at the units of the Jn of x, it is coulomb per centimeter square per second. Okay, When we divide it with charge of electron, which is of units coulomb, and multiplying it with centimeter square, they cancel, and the resultant is actually number per second, which is what we are looking for. Okay, and in a similar way, we can write for the electron flow out of this slice that is divided by the charge of the electron times a, the unit says number per second. Okay, and the rate of electron generation in the slice. 
gn is the generation rate whose units are number of electrons generated per centimeter cube per second if you multiply this with the volume of the slice we will get number per second and similarly in the recombination rate we can write rn times a dx and the units are number per second okay and looking at all these terms looking at the lhs that is left hand side that is increase in the electron rate overall rate of electron increase it is a dx equals first term minus second term plus third term minus fourth term 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 1 minus 2 we can call this as net inflow of electrons into the slice and 3 minus 4 we can call them as net generation of electrons per second okay so taking this jn of x in the first term divided by the charge of electron times a minus jn of x plus dx divided by the charge of electron times area cross section area gn minus rn times a dx now looking at the second term we can use taylor series to expand this that is jn of x plus dx can be written or expanded by taylor series around x like this jn of x plus dx times partial differentiation of jn of x by the uh, with respect to x and the higher order terms can be neglected as it is infinite simul slice after all okay so substituting this back into this equation we can write this equation as do n by do t times a dx equals jn of x divided by the charge of electron times a minus jn of x divided by the charge of electron times a minus dx times do jn of x by do x divided by charge of electron times a plus gn minus rn times a times dx if you reduce this these two terms get cancelled and a dx is common in these all terms at lhs and rhs we can cancel this a dx a dx here so now we can write this do n by do t equals do 1 by q times partial differentiation of jn of x with respect to x plus gn minus rn this is the continuity equation for electrons and similarly we can write the continuity equation for holes that is the only difference is the charge of hole is positive and the charge of electron is negative so instead of minus q if you place plus q okay we can write do p by do t equals minus 1 by q do jp of x divided by do x plus gp minus rp this is the continuity equation for holes